Hi and welcome to UiPath Automation Hub web series episode number 9. In our previous video, we have seen how can we take a backup of our workflow in Git, which is a version controlling. Now, once we are done with the backup of taking on Git, all we have to do is create a component on UiPath Automation Hub. Now, let's go and navigate till our automation pipeline. Now, last time in our episode number 7, what we have done is we have completed the phase of solution design. Now let's go ahead, edit and make the changes in the automation phase. Now we are going to go ahead in the development phase and we are going to mark it as on track until and unless we create a component. Now I have put the pipeline to development phase on track. Now once my development phase is on track, all I have to do is create a component. Now let's go ahead and look at how to create a component in automation hub. Now I'm going to create on my components. Once I click on my components, I'm going to click on upload a component. Once I click on upload a component, all I have to do is enter all these details. Now let's have a look at what all things are needed. So name is resume screening. Summary is capturing details from resume and update CRM. Once I have added this data, I'm going to put the description. The description, let's say description is similar to this. As I'm just creating a sample, so I can say reading from email, extracting data from PDF attachments and update CRM. Now once this is done, I'm going to select a component. So component is nothing but, is it a solution? Is it a custom activity, snippet, workflow template, connector, dashboard or what? So I'm, it's solution. I'm just going to attach a solution. Automation area is a human resource as it's a HR based automation resources. So Excel and work day. Then I'm going to add benefits. So it is going to reduce and for resume screening and the dependencies. So the dependencies are the dependencies which are required in your folders. So it, to create a workflow, the dependencies are UiPath Excel dot activities, mail and PDF. So it is UiPath dot Excel dot activities, UiPath dot mail dot activities. And UiPath dot PDF dot activities. Now these dependencies are really mandatory because if anybody is using your workflow, they should download these dependencies or else the workflow will not be visible to them. It will be saying missing some dependency. The compatibility is with Windows 7 or uh, bigger or Windows 7 Plus. Then UiPath Studio 2019 and oh then it is going to support yeah so the compatibility is with that outlook desktop based application so which i'm using i'm using outlook 2016 so i'm just going to say it is 2016 and excel so which version of excel am i using i'm using excel 2016 so i'm just going to add that also excel 2016 and that's done now, do you need to update any manual? So manual is nothing but uploading a file of how to use and how to create a workflow. And manual is nothing but just like a readme document, which is a install, which upload the installation manual and user guide in the PDF format. So it needs specifically PDF format. It should be consistent type of this. So we will create a separate workflow, uh, a video on how to create manuals and how to upload a file into this particular manuals. Now let's go ahead and Let's attach media if we have any. So we have to create a video or if you have any YouTube video or any screenshots, which you have, you can go ahead and download and attach it here and our flow chart. I'm going to attach this flow chart here. Once it's attached, now let's upload a component. So upload component. Now what it says, please upload your component, which is .zip or NuGet package, XML package here. Maximum file size is 50 MB. 
and also then there is it needs a source code so source code is nothing but going to be please upload the source code in zip format here in case of snippet and workflow templates it has the same file from uploaded file upload now i have created a resume screening zip file which is a winrar zip now let's go ahead and let's upload it on automation hub so i'll click on upload a file this is the file say upload now once this is uploaded this is a file upload now similarly you have to upload source code now our file upload and source code both are same so i'm going just going to attach the same file here now once you have attached the source code and file you have to mention the version the version is 1.0 as it's the initial version release notes there is none so i'm just going to say any as of now but you have to attach the release note here and then go ahead and save the details now my component is uploaded and i can go ahead and i can submit it or i can save as a draft now before i upload manuals let's save it as a draft so that next time in the next video we are going to upload the manual so i'm saving it as a draft and our resume screening bot is now in a draft so thank you so much for watching this video on how to create a component using automation hub in our next video we are going to see how we can create manual and how we can upload that manual to automation hub thank you so much for watching happy automation